Good morning. It's Friday. Uh, August 11th. Rainier and I are walking outside. Look, I actually got dressed today because I had to follow my son to Les Schwab. Yesterday, his tire was going flat. He works like in South Seattle, which is about an hour and a half from where we live, maybe two hours in traffic. He usually leaves at 6 a.m., gets there around 8 a.m. in the morning, gets home at like 7 p.m. Anyways, his tire was running out of air. Luckily, there was a Les Schwab walking distance from his job, so he dropped it off at Les Schwab on his lunch break. And then around two o'clock, he calls me on three-way with the Les Schwab person, and she's saying, oh, the back two tires are bald. We recommend they get replaced. We're like, okay, cool. So pay $410 to get his two back tires replaced. And he's driving home. He's like almost home, like 20 minutes away. And he calls me, says, mom, my tire's flat again. And I was so irritated. <laughs> I called Les Schwab. They were just about to close. And I was like, hey, did you guys like not even look at the fucking reason why the air was coming out of the tire and just recommended us to buy two new tires because that tire went flat too and the guy's like well I mean you could pay to have it towed here and we'll reimburse you if it's our problem but if it's not we won't I'm like fuck that <laughs> I'm not towing the car an hour and a half away I don't think you understand how far we live so I couldn't take it to the close Les Schwab because it was closed. We got up early this morning. I called them as soon as they opened, explained to them what had gone wrong or what happened and just took my son to breakfast while they fixed his tire and the valve stem needed to be replaced. So they replaced it and his tire is fine now, which is what the first fucking place should have done originally, right? That's frustrating too. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So you mean to tell me they never even fucking looked at the reason why he was taking his tires and just sold us two new tires without fixing the fucking problem? I was so pissed yesterday. <laughs> um, I called and left him a message just to let them know that they fucked up you know like these are people's lives you're fucking with like take it seriously they're not just tires you know like people rely on these vehicles and we pay a lot of fucking money to have it done i had calmed down by morning by today and uh the guy at the Les Schwab and like Stevens was really nice and understanding and empathetic and I was taken care of. I got to look at the IHOP menu and watch my son eat steak and eggs and pancakes. Ugh, there was absolutely nothing on that breakfast menu that I could eat or drink. So I took my protein shake in with me. And ordered a water. And uh, my son's off to work now. Now I am just 
dressed and walking around. I was going to try to walk around like Ross or TJ Maxx. Just to like kind of stay out of the house a little longer. But they don't open till 10. It's like 9 o'clock right now. It's not even 10. So came home. Decided to walk with Rainier. And I am still so tired. Like, ugh. I look forward to going to work on Monday just so that I can get dressed and get out of the house, but I really don't have much energy. Not until I start eating, you know, regularly. I took my vitamins this morning and I drank a couple sips of the protein shake as much as I could. That's about it. Not much else. 